Hi, I'm Chris Self, System Consultant with InSource, based out of Richmond, Virginia. This video series is going to talk about InTouch and its dashboarding capabilities. And the idea is to bring better information, better visibility to information to people in the plant to help accelerate and make better decisions. In particular, we're going to focus on how to integrate historian data into the InTouch environment. Here's how the video will flow. We'll talk about a high-level concept, talk about a pragmatic practical application of that concept and then we'll show you a demonstration of the concept in the software itself. At a high level the concept is to use the dashboarding concept to make more effective decision making tools for people in the plant. Hey let's face it we have lots and lots of data in plants. We're very good at generating and storing data but we're not so good at really mining that data and providing it to the people who need it data from PLCs and quality systems and downtime, compliance, production, you name it, we have it all over the place. But we really don't provide that information to people. So the idea is to use different tools to provide information to help people make better decisions. What we really would like to do is show you how to use InTouch to provide more effective visualization to operators who are currently using the system, but also to other people in the plant who need information that they have so it might be someone in uh, that's focused on energy someone who's focused on downtime or production or scheduling that might need better information about what's happening down on the plant floor so let's look at a practical application of it let's say that we need to bring more information into the system to provide the operators better visualization of what's happening from the Wonderware Historian. So in this case we have some plant data coming from PLCs that's being stored in the Wonderware Historian. In this case oven zone temperatures and there's five of them. So the idea is we want to use the power of orchestra graphics to show the operator the information that they need that may be beyond what's already there. So first we're going to take this concept of custom properties that's going to retrieve the average zone temperatures over a configurable time period. One of the interesting things about the custom properties in Orchestra Graphics is you have this data type called history summary and that gives you access to different types of statistics that you can query from the Wonderware historian like as you see here average, min, max, standard deviation and so on and so forth. We're going to be using average in this case once we have that information we need to visualize it in a way that's better than the operator currently has today. In this case we're going to be using a bar chart from the situational awareness library and we have some buttons here that we're going to use to set the desired time period to see the averages over. Pretty straightforward. And then finally we'll use that orchestra graphic in an InTouch application in runtime to see how it works. So let's have a look. Let's jump over to the software and see how we configured this. So let's have a look at what we've set up so far. We're here in the IDE and we have a template here called extruder and we have some attributes here uh, as you see here we've got the zone 1 temperature, zone 2 temperature, zone 3 and so forth and we notice that all of these are being stored in the window where we have the history enabled here. If we look at our trend application we see the first instance of that extruder template is called extruder underbar 001 and we see the five zone temperatures here and we see we have a a trend of those over whatever time period we would like but as we said earlier this trend may not tell the whole story that the operator needs perhaps they just need to know the averages of these temperatures over time so let's see how we can provide that to them so also here notice we have a graphic called zone temperature stats. So when we open that graphic, so the first thing we'll have a look at is the data itself. So we'll have a look at custom properties for this orchestra graphic. We've got a few here. The average duration is what we're going to drive to tell the system what our duration should be you know, in the past. Do we want to see the past hour, past four hours, past 24 hours? And we also have Z1 through Z5 average. The data type that we've chosen here is called history summary, which gives us access to various statistics that we can query from the Windowware historian, such as minimum, maximum, average, and so forth. So we're going to choose average here. And for the duration, in other words, 
what is our time period for the average going to be? We're going to say that it's going to be the value of our average duration custom property. So pretty straightforward. So that's essentially the data side of things with our custom properties. Now once those custom properties are populated from data in the historian, we need to visualize it. So now we're going to be using this guy, which is a column chart. Where did we get it? We simply went to our embed graphics. We choose our graphic toolbox. And we go to the situational awareness library, our dashboard tools, which you see there are many dashboard tools here. We chose the SA column chart, but there's lots of others here that you can use to visualize data, such as deviation charts, pie charts, column charts, target graphs, etc. So there's many, many different ways to display and visualize data here. Now, once we've embedded that guy, we made a couple of changes, nothing big. So we changed the number of bars to five because we have five zone temperatures. Now let's look at the custom properties for that. There's our custom property. So what is the value? It's just looking for something to drive the value of each bar. And we're driving those values with the custom properties we created earlier. That is the zone temperature averages. So pretty straightforward. Here we have some buttons that drive the duration of the query. So that's pretty straightforward as well. We'll look at the action script for that. And we're saying we want the average duration in this case to be 60 minutes and so forth. So we're changing the average duration, changes the query, the system goes and requeries the data, pretty straightforward. Now let's see that in action here in InTouch. So we have a blank window here in InTouch. We want to embed that extruder 001 graphic directly here in our InTouch application. So I'll embed it a graphic. I'll choose our instances Here's our extruder, and here's our zone temperature stats. We'll drop it in. Looks just like we had earlier. Go to runtime, and it goes and queries the data. So that's the application. So to recap, our concept was let's provide information in ways that help people to make better decisions, to help keep them from having to do more work to find out the data they really need and do those mental gymnastics. We have lots of data, so let's try to do a better job of providing that data to people. And our application was, let's look at how we can better integrate one of our historian data and use the power of orchestra graphics to display that data in a way that the operators need or even other people in the plant might need as well. So. I really hope this was helpful. Thank you a lot for watching and make it a great day.